Now, so the couple have written some beautiful words straight from their hearts, which I'll share, firstly, on Curtis's behalf. Don't look at Tori, don't look at me, because it'll wig me out. <laughs> Today I marry you, Tori Ann Davies. I choose you over all others. I promise to be the best husband and father I possibly can be. To love you at all times, through the ups and through the downs, through the good times and the bad, when life seems easy and when life seems hard, when our love is simple and when our love is an effort, I will always stand by you. I know what you need from me and I'll always work hard to provide this for you. And together we make a great team and we can overcome whatever lies ahead. Four months ago, we faced our toughest challenge yet with the loss of our beautiful daughter, Valley. Together, we supported each other through a tragedy that no one should ever have to go through. And coming out on the other side, my love for you is stronger than ever. I could not imagine a better person to spend the rest of my life with. You are the love of my life and the one I want to wake up to for the rest of my days. I take you, Curtis, to be my best friend, my one true love, and my partner for life. I promise to encourage you, inspire you, and to love you through good times and bad. I promise above all else to live in truth with you and to communicate fully and fearlessly. I will be there forever with you to laugh, to lift you up when you are down, and to love you unconditionally through all of our adventures together. I pledge to you my love, my devotion, faith and honour as I join my life to yours. Tori, your mum and I are aware of just how blessed we've been to have you in our lives. Um, and we know, and we know that you're aware of just how loved you are. Curtis will make you laugh, you'll shake your head, but you'll love him for who he is, a kind soul with a big heart. Kurt's adoring grandfather once said, if you're ever going to be stranded in the bush or the desert, he's the bloke you want by your side. We are thrilled that he's found such a wonderful person to share many memorable moments with in his life and for the love and joy and support that they bring to one another. So Kurt, where do I begin? We first met in Bali and you didn't speak very much. Then I thought, how does this work? Tori being loud and Kurt, quiet. <laughs> They're the perfect yin and yang and balance each other out perfectly. Uh, so I got home, talked to Tori, I said, he's a keeper, he's the one you want. And for once, she fucking listened to me. <laughs> Hallelujah. And he's called me and he is, his voice is crackling, he's, he's half, he's done. And I was thinking, shit, what's going on here? Like, something like, serious has happened. Like, yeah, like, we are in trouble here. And he, he told me, he said, mate, I've met, I've met this bird. I've met this girl. We're having a beer. And in walks uh, this, this blondie. He actually did say, he goes, I want her to be my wife one day, and I'm thinking, fuck, no, no chance. But here we are. That same night, Curtis had a smile on his face all night. I've seen him smile 18 times in his whole entire life. 15 times since she's been with Nug. Please raise your glasses. Tori and Curtis, the bride and groom.